Dermalogica is a skincare brand that was started in the United States and has grown to be a global powerhouse in the industry. The company has also made it a part of their mission to promote entrepreneurship among women. And I spoke to Dermalogica founder Jane Werwand about, from New York about helping women start businesses and how she grew her own. It's a classic entrepreneurial story. Um, I emigrated to the United States in 1983 with literally a suitcase in one hand and a beauty school diploma in the other uh, to join a boyfriend who's now my husband and we started the company together. And we started on a $14,000 self-funding. We couldn't have gotten funding anyway. Nobody, we didn't even have a bank account. Um, and we bootstrapped the company up. And we've never taken outside funding and never given away any equity. So it literally was an entrepreneurial story of starting in an industry that we knew, because we knew the salon professional industry. We saw the opportunity. The opportunity was a lack of education. It was a four-month training program here in the United States, as opposed to a one- or two-year full-time program everywhere else. And we filled that gap with education. And then in 1986, we launched the product line Domologica. And so that, it was a classic entrepreneurial journey when we launched the product line. That was really the tipping point. We'd already had a kind of a groundswell of support from the students that we had trained who owned their own salons. We were training them in technique and business. And then we layered in the product and that was really the tipping point. That was what tipped us over the edge and now we're in 86 countries, as you say. <laughs> uh, Jane, are those lessons from 1986 still true today in the sense that if you want to have a successful business and be able to grow it over decades, you uh, need to fill an unmet need? And that's part one of the question. And then part two is, um, would you still recommend that people don't take outside funding? Well, I think that uh, the entrepreneurial lessons are, are still there and I think it's actually probably easier today because when we were building our business, there was no internet. I mean, this, this was, you know, old school. Mm -hmm. So it was literally word of mouth. I mean, I was just talking nonstop to everybody I ever met anywhere at any time and telling them about our business. We were doing direct mail and flyers. I mean, now I think the communication is easier. I think it's more direct and you can target your message more clearly. So I think absolutely it's doable again. It's happening. Women are now starting to opening their own businesses at one and a half times the rate of men. So clearly the entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well. And I think that uh, if you have an opportunity to take outside funding, uh, that's, of course, something that would make it easier, but I would uh, be very reluctant to give away equity. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit of a control freak, probably, <laughs> both Raymond and I are, and we never want to take orders from anybody, so I would be careful about giving equity unless you absolutely have to. But, def I mean, taking outside funding can certainly smooth the way and make it easier and faster. Right. Uh, Jane, you know, one of your projects now, of course, is you've started this foundation called FIGHT, Financial Independence Through Entrepreneurship. Talk to us a little bit about what is right. behind that. What's your passion behind that? Yeah. Well, Fight grew out of the Domologica story. So we are focused on helping women become entrepreneurs in three ways. We help uh, fund, fund them, fund their businesses to get them to grow. We're doing that in a partnership with Kiva, and we've been doing that since 2010. So our social impact piece is to direct loans to, to women who are growing their business. Our goal was to fund 25,000 women and we've hit just over the 50,000 mark now. So that's in the funding partnership with Kiva. The second piece is in vocational training and skill set training because that's this, my story. I went to, to study skincare straight from high school. It's the story of our industry. And the third piece is voice amplification, talking about it as I'm, as I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. The story of the professional salon industry is one of women entrepreneurs. The industry puts more women into business than any other, and women own 64% of all salons, as opposed to women owning 30% of any other business in another segment. So this is an economic powerhouse for women entrepreneurs. Why do you think it's so important that women own their own businesses? Well, I think if you know you look at historically if you read any of the of the books out there and and you look at what holds women back in a corporate environment, I think just you know the controversy in the last week about women not asking for a pay raise just waiting for it to sort of happen magically by karma. 
I think that uh, the fastest way for a woman to be economically independent is to be their own boss and to start their own company. At least that's my story. I speak from, you know, sort of my own journey and the 100,000 women that we train every year who work in the salon industry, I see their successes. And for me, that seems like the fastest route. It's also, according to every economic study, the fastest way to impact a country's GDP is to get the women in that country economically empowered. And I see entrepreneurship as a terrific opportunity to do that. That was Jane Werwand, founder of Dermalogica, joining us from...